Hello everybody and welcome back to the Vive Port Review. Today we are going over my top 5 Vive subscription based games. In no particular order, our first game is Richie's Plank Experience. While technically not a game and just an experience, it's one of those titles I always leave installed. It's a great way to showcase VR, introduce people to it, so whenever I have guests over, I will throw them into Richie's Plank Experience to see some fun reactions out of people and let people experience that true immersion that something like Richie's Plank Experience brings. There's also a really underrated feature in this game that no one tends to talk about, is flying around. The flying mechanic in that game is amazing, and it truly lets you feel like Iron Man. And I could just sit there for, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes just floating around that virtual city and flying up as high as I can and dropping back down and almost stopping on a dime right next to a car. It's a truly fun experience, and like I said, a great way to showcase VR to friends. Up next is Apex Construct. Now this is one of the more complete titles in the list. It'll give you over five hours of play with a decent amount of replayability, but it's a great combination of combat, uh, exploration, and some puzzle mechanics. Combine that with some great graphics, some excellent bow mechanics, and a cool storyline, it's definitely worth checking out. Number three is the Gallery Episodes 1 and 2. If you're into exploration and puzzle titles, you have to check out this game. While the puzzles can be a bit shallow, the storyline is amazing. It gets really trippy towards the end, uh, and it had some of my favorite moments in VR. You're also going to get hours of entertainment between these two episodes. Could be anything between three and six hours, depending on how quickly you can blast through the content. But I took my time poked around every corner, listened to every cassette tape, and, and enjoyed everything the story had to offer. Number four is Knockout League. Now, this is another good way to introduce people to VR and also test their cardio at the same time. It's a completely unrealistic boxing game, but it's really fun and can be quite a workout. You fight a series of over-the-top characters that get progressively hotter and hotter. You have to memorize their routines and learn uh, the appropriate counters. But it's a lot of fun, and just the art style, the characters they made, it's worth checking out. While it's not the longest game, beating it is going to be a physical challenge on you. And finally, the last game in my top five list is Angry Birds VR. Now, years ago, you and probably everybody else played Angry Birds on your phone, and you know how much fun that game was and how addictive it was. Well, it's even better in VR, and if you have a subscription, you're into that type of game, how can you not just pop in, check it out? The attention, the details there, like some of the characters will make faces at you before you shoot them. It's even more fun than you remember it on the phone, and the game continually feels rewarding. Every time you crush a pig, it's very satisfying. Okay guys, that's my top five, but don't go anywhere yet because I have my unfortunate exclusions. These are five games that are fantastic that are not in the Vive Port subscription, and I really wish they were. And the first game is Moss. There's not many uh, third-person platformers out there when it comes to VR. You check out Moss. It's a really cool game. The next one is Budget Cuts. A lot of hype around this game when it was in production. There was a light version available for some period of time. Uh, the full version's not there. People love this game. Not available on subscription. The next one is Arizona Sunshine, guys. I'm sure you've seen this title. It's the most robust and fully realized shooting game. We go around killing zombies. Would have loved to see this on the subscription. Fortunately, it's not there. The next one up, Super Hot. Another great game. Very different style than anything else out there. A lot of fun. A lot of replayability. Didn't make it. And finally, L.A. Noir: The VR Case Files. When this game came to VR, I was excited because I never originally played it. So getting to play it on VR sounded awesome. I'm focusing on my Vive port subscription right now. Vive, not the cheapest hardware. So I want to get the most out of my subscription. And unfortunately, this game didn't make the cut. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the list. 
Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content. Click the subscribe, click the bell, and I will see you guys next time.